Yo, what's up everybody? We are back with another video. We got Carmen with us. And uh, yeah, guys, you guys are looking at the super treasure hunt, finding Ooh, queen. Two. That's right, guys. She found her first super treasure hunt. She found the Volvo Gasser. And right after that, she found the B-Case Camaro super treasure hunt. And then I found the 180 SX super treasure hunt. Then we found two M2 chases. That's right. We both found our first chases I got the back Dodge. to back. I got she the got Dodge. the Dodge. I got the GMC Jimmy. You also won on your scratch tickets. I did, 150 bucks. Holy smokes. About to turn those in right oh, now. Man. Yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on the earth with my words and I. Anyways, guys, we are here at Fred Meyer. We are gonna check out, see what there is. I cannot freaking believe it. Three super treasure hunts in one stop and two M2 chases. The luck was so good, we just bought like $25 worth of uh, lottery tickets. We got the Mega Millions, the Hit 5, Powerball. We don't even need all the millions, just a couple millions would do us pretty good. We buy a lot of Hot Wheels, a few million bucks. All right, looks like they're moving some things around over here. Um, what do we got here? We got the Porsche 918 Spider from Matchbox. That thing's pretty wild. We'll leave it behind. But pretty nice car. And and uh, when I was here. yeah, does not look like anything good here. here Got the new shipper. I think that thing's been gone through a few times. Mm -hmm. And a dump bin, which this has been gone through a few times as well. Got the Audi. No gas door variant. Proton Saga. I still, did I ever get this? I still kind of like this. Little you car. did get that. You I have one of those. Okay. And they I do make like a they stuff. do make a super treasure hunt in one of those. It's all gold. Maybe that'll be our next super treasure hunt find. Oh, so. <laughs> well, we got one stray leftover 2023 Toyota GR Corolla. We're gonna put this on the pegs for somebody else. We already have one of these, so yeah, we're gonna leave her behind. Uh, somebody will come in and see that hanging there. Be pretty happy, I think. So yeah, looks like nothing but fantasy leftovers here. So yeah, let's keep it moving. All right, guys, I'm making her pack all the groceries and punishment. Pretty much all mine anyways, <laughs> except for the cilantro is yours. We got the Acura here with the new rubber. That's right. We got brand new Goodyears all the way around. Getting ready for winter. Good year assurances. All right, guys, next stop, we're here at Walmart. We're hoping that dump in that they brought out and put back away last night is maybe out. Yeah, yeah. there's a good chance there could be a potential dump in, um, but they might not bring it out. I don't know. They brought a dump bin out last night. We were patiently waiting um, so we could check it out. And uh, she's put about five cars on the pegs uh, from the bottom of a box. And then they took the dump in away and said, sorry, we can't bring this out yet. And I, oh man. So then we were checking out the pegs and lo and behold, the 180SX Super Treasure Hunt was sitting there. Like the, out of the five cars that she grabbed, boom, it was there. Absolutely insane. All right, let's check her out. We got neon speeders left behinds. We got some moving parts left behinds. Um, we got lots of monster trucks. <laughs> And like we got a, uh, yeah, the Porsche Volkswagen Diorama. Though, got a bunch of those. Oh, yeah, yeah. Heck yeah. We're going to throw that in there. Nice find from Carmen. Yep, you can see all the M2 leftovers. We were able to grab the chases out of here. Looks like we got some Johnny Lightnings. But yes, she got the Dodge Dart Chase as it's gold. Bumpers. All right, what else do we got? All right, guys, there is definitely a few more things left behind on the pegs than there was last night. The pegs are absolutely full. Um, I'm sure they've been gone through. Um, we were lucky enough to grab the three supers and some treasure hunts, of course, last night. But uh, yeah, you can definitely see there is some new stuff chilling. So we're going to take a quick peek and see what we can find. We are looking for that little white Ford treasure hunt. We did not find that last night.
All right, we're gonna take a quick peek. See if we can't find that dump bin laying around. Yep. Went to the main line of this. There is the main line. And then those are the ones you got last night, right? Mm-hmm. We definitely found a few more things here and here. We're gonna grab another Nissan Skyline tuned Liberty Walk. This thing is badass. We're gonna pick that up. And uh, what else do we got here? Oh, we got another Zamic Mercedes-Benz Unimog. That is rad. We did not see that yesterday. Yes, we're gonna grab a couple of these. All right, so it looks like they did stick some stuff out here. You can see we got the Toyota GR86 there. It's got a bent card. So they definitely put some stuff. We're gonna grab another Unimog. It'd be cool if we could find one more of these. Um, we are trying to do like a Zamic giveaway or potentially beautiful Mazda RX-7. What'd you find? I like this little dune thing. Okay, that's can awesome. That? Heck yeah. Got a dune daddy. All right, so there's definitely some stuff that was laid out in here. We should also go check over by the food. Well, we got a beautiful BMW M3 in yellow. Oh, we got one more Unimog, perfect. Beautiful Chargers Dodge Charger in, in pink. You know? Wow, yeah. nice find. I like that. Nice find. Oh, another Skyline. We're going to open this one for sure. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. There's two more. Oh, there's like four more. But you've got enough of those, right? Yeah. We're going to be able to find the uh, treasure hunt, or did somebody already grab it? I'm sure they stuck some of these out last night, so they've been just hanging behind. Uh, we got the Ford Performance so van. Yes, that is the, yeah, that's, like I said, it's supposed to be like a white van. So somebody probably was able to come get them. No luck. No luck. No cyclones. Yeah. So somebody definitely been through here, grabbed the cyclones and grabbed the treasure hunts. We're back at the crib, guys. We got lots of stuff to show you guys. But first of all, holy smokes. Holy smokes. That's right, guys. Carmen and I hit the holy grail. I was on my way home from work a little bit early. Carmen wasn't quite home yet, so I decided to swing by Walmart ahead of time because we always do our grocery shopping um, every Friday after work. And uh, anyways, I, I pulled on into the store, went to the die cast section. There was nothing when I was going to check out the uh, gigantic Hot Wheels tower. Um, I walked by a girl that was stocking some stuff. There was a few Hot Wheels boxes there. There was some uh, M2 boxes there, Jada, you name it. There was pretty much everything she was stocking. So I went to the tower, didn't see anything there either. And when I came back, she was scanning things in on the pallet and I saw the uh, M2 box there and I just asked her, is there any way we can uh, open that box? I never ever really do that, but I just politely asked. Sure enough, she said, sure, no problem, sir. So I followed her to the die cast uh, aisle and she cut the box open, put them all up on the pegs. And uh, once she left, I started looking through them and uh, sure enough, guys, we hit our first M2 Chase. Now, if you guys have been watching the channel, you guys do know I do have a few other um, Chases from M2. And you can see down there, um, we do have a few other M2 Chases. Um, but those were all Chases that either a friend found or I was there with a friend and he said, hey, there's a Chase right here. You want it? We even had a time where a guy chased us down just to give us a Chase after he had found it. Um, so this is the first time that we actually pulled an M2 Chase off the pegs. It's a 73 GMC Jimmy Sierra. This is a Coca-Cola, so it's got the red chrome. And you guys know I'm a GM fan and a square body fan here. So um, I thought this was an awesome um, first M2 Chase. So super pumped. I was absolutely just freaking happy leaving the store. I could not wait to get home to show Carmen. I left the store. I get home. I pick up Carmen. We go right back to the store. We're going to do some grocery shopping. And I decide to go back to the die cast section again. And uh, they are putting out Hot Wheels left and right. There's two stalkers, two or three stalkers. 
and they kept putting stuff out. So we just literally went over to the giant tower of Hot Wheels and we just politely waited until he was done. And sure enough, there came the Volvo Super right there. And Carmen snatched it up super quick. So shout out to Carmen. This is her first Super Treasure Hunt. Right off the pegs, fresh out the box. This thing is beautiful. Her favorite color is hot pink. And uh, this is a great Super for her because it has the pink glass, pink on the wheels. This thing is awesome. You can see the gold flame there. Got her in a protector. This thing is rad. If you guys didn't get a chance, make sure you go click that reel and you guys can see our excitement. Here, we're also going to compare the uh, the mainline version of that. You can definitely tell the difference between these two. These are night and day. Not even the same car. The Super Treasure Hunt is wild. I love it. Super bright colors. Super awesome right after that we were celebrating her finding a super they kept bringing cases and it was a like case after case after case and uh it was a b case surprisingly and sure enough boom this camaro came flying out the person's hand right onto the peg and carmen was able to snatch up a second super treasure hunt she got not one but two super treasure hunts in the same day at the same store at the same time absolutely amazing such a cool car beautiful car beautiful wheels um definitely different than the main line you can see here we're going to compare it it's definitely a lighter color with its spectra flame you can see the main line's a little more just solid black and of course you got the real riders and the th on the back quarter panel there at that point i could not believe it uh i just did not even know what to think we got a chase we got two super treasure hunts and uh, right then and there, uh, they start bringing out a dump bin. I am not even kidding you guys. They're bringing out a full brand new dump bin. We have not had a dump bin for like a year. And they start cracking the box open. There's like six boxes of Hot Wheels or so. Maybe even like eight boxes, something like that. Stacked up in these dump bins. They start cutting the cardboard open. They start grabbing the cases. So the employee starts cutting a box open. Now they cut the box open upside down from the bottom. She grabs about three or four cars from the bottom of the case and uh, she puts them on the pegs and she starts dumping the rest of the cars in the dump bin. There's several other cases. She just starts slicing them open, dumping in the dump bin. I'm just standing back. I'm super excited because I'm like, yes, I might be first um, to go through this dump bin. So I'm waiting for them to kind of get it all ready and uh, we'll go ahead and start digging through it once they uh, put it in position and take off. And uh She's awaiting for further instruction from her employee, and the employee was waiting for further instruction from the manager. It turns out, from what I can see, that they did not want the dump bin on the floor. They're trying to do away with the dump bin. That's why they got the huge tower of Hot Wheels. Um, so the girl looked at the other girl and went, oh no, I just poured all these Hot Wheels in, in the dump bin. Um, so then they kind of looked at each other. They didn't know what to do. I think they were instructed to just bring it back. Uh, they said it. We, they weren't sellable. Um, so we were like super bummed. They're like, oh, we'll bring it back out in 20 minutes. And I could just tell by the look on their face that they were kind of like fibbing on that. So I was like, darn, like, all right. So at this point, I'm like, let's just go check out. So we get our groceries. We go put everything in the car. And we're like, well, let's just go back in, see if they're going to bring that dump bin back out. We get back there and they hadn't bring the dump bin out. But there was the guy that was unloading the pallet still. He kept bringing more cases of cars, um, putting and filling up the uh, tower. So we're standing there, we're kind of checking out things. We're not really finding too much. And then uh, Carmen spotted this beautiful GMC Cyclone off the pegs. And uh, I thought that was pretty wild. So I grabbed it and it was the M case that that girl had cut the box open on the bottom and started putting on the pegs. So then it dawned on me that there's a few cars potentially on the pegs from that case. Now at the time, I didn't really realize it was um, from the bottom of the case until right after I pulled that cyclone out there it was right there the holy grail the holy grail the holy grail 96 Nissan 180 SX type X super treasure hunt this thing is beautiful I literally grabbed it and looked at Carmen like I just seen a ghost and I was like we got to get out of here we got to get out of here. We're going to get robbed. We're seriously just going to get robbed. We literally have three super treasure hunts and uh, a chase now at this point. And I'm like, we got to get out of here. 
and uh, absolutely this this cyclone is super super cool and uh, I was just in so much excitement and at that point there was another collector there too and I didn't think that they were going to bring that dump bin out guys I just thought there's no way they're not bringing it out they're instructed to not bring that dump bin out but they didn't want to make me feel bad so they just kind of were like hey well, we're going to bring it back out no that wasn't the case so we're like let's just leave we got three super treasure hunts and a chase tonight we're out of here guys so we proceed to leave and we see the other guy still bringing stuff down the die cast aisle so we decide just to check one last time on the way out to see if there's anything new um in the die cast aisle and sure enough we start digging through the m2s and uh within about five seconds she pulled out this beautiful 1969 dodge dart swinger 340 m2 chase with its gold wheels and gold bumpers. I just gotta make sure to click the uh, video right above. Check out our excitement on that one as well. I could not believe it. I was literally talking about it all weekend long. This does not happen to us. Those were our first M2 chases. I found one, she found one, and Carmen found her first and second super treasure hunt ever in the same night, the same stop. Absolutely amazing. And then we pulled that M case 180SX. We didn't even get to get the mainline 180SX um, because she didn't pull all the cars out. Um, we, the dump bin was taken away and I figured at some point some of the cars would probably come out. What I think is going to happen is they're going to, uh, they probably threw all those cars in a box or in a cart or something. They're going to slowly keep bringing them out and keeping those pegs full. But uh, honestly, I'm good guys. We got three super treasure hunts, two chases. We got the regular treasure hunts. It's absolutely awesome guys. Let us know down in the comments which one is your favorite. Uh, let me know which one is your favorite out of the uh, three Super Treasure Hunts that we found. Uh, I really am jealous of her Volvo there. That thing is beautiful. Uh, the Camaro is super clean. I'm actually a little more impressed with it in person than I've seen in pictures. And this 180SX is like seriously um, the Holy Grail, of course, it's the JDM Nissan. Super pumped to have found it. I never thought I'd even find it. I would have been happy with the main line. So the fact that we walked out of there with a Super, and we didn't even get the regular treasure hunt out of the M case at all either. So um, super pumped. We both found our first M2 chases um, in the same day. She got two Super Treasure Hunts in the same day, and we got the 180SX. Carmen also pulled the B-Case 8 Fair Treasure Hunt from the B-Case as well as the Purple Passion Regular Treasure Hunt from the H-Case. She's also an Audi collector and she got the 94 Avent RS2. I guess there's another variant without the gas door as well, so we'll definitely be on the lookout for that. This thing is beautiful. She also really likes pink, like I said, so she got this 70 Dodge Charger RT in pink as well as this dune daddy little buggy here also got the tuned nissan skyline 2000 gt r liberty walk this thing is so cool um i think the colors are eye-catching i actually really like some of the tuned cars so i couldn't help but pass this up especially since it's a skyline we also got the toyota gr86 cup car here this thing is beautiful here we were able to pick up the 49 Drag Merc. This thing is super wild, looks super awesome. It is from the Hot Wheels Rolling Metal. Um, looks like it's got a wheelie bar back there and everything. Um, we also got one of the Seizinger Zip cars. And we also have the 94 Audi Avent RS2 Zamic, no gas door version. We were also able to pick up a Mercedes-Benz Unimog. And the Mustang Funny Car. And we got the 55 Chevy Bel Air. And we were able to pick up one of the Zamic Mighty Ks. Let us know down in the comments, are you guys picking up any of the Zamic cars? I do believe I am starting to get a little bit of an addiction here. I think I'm going to start collecting some of the Zamics as I can find them. I think it's kind of fun. Um, but we also have a few other main lines here as well. I did pick up this awesome Star Trek USS Enterprise um, from B Case. We've got an extra tuned Skyline and an extra Zamic uh, Mighty K. We're going to crack these open right now. Let's go ahead and start with the Mighty K. There you have it. That thing is beautiful. I'm thinking about doing a little bit of a wheel swap on this thing. This thing looks super cool. Crack open the tuned Skyline. And 
there you go. Kind of goofy, but I think they're kind of fun. Um, I think they're a cool looking little car. And I just thought this was kind of unique. I don't know if some of you guys are into Star Trek or not. I'm not really into Star Trek, but uh, I thought this was pretty cool. Pretty unique. And uh, we're going to go ahead and crack it open. And uh, I do have a Star Wars land speeder there, as well as the Back to Future car. And uh, we have some Jurassic Park stuff. There you go. So there is the Starship. This is pretty darn cool, really. What a weird looking ship. And it does come with like a little stand here. I believe you can kind of prop it up. And uh, there you have it. Looks like she's just floating there. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments of these cars. Are you guys picking up any of the tuned cars? And we finally got our RLC GMC Typhoon. Not one, but we actually got two of them. That's right, two GMC Typhoons. I was having a problem ordering and accidentally um, turned the quantity to two, but I am not mad about it. These things are absolutely awesome. I'm going to go ahead and open one up here and uh, we can get a better look at it. Yeah, I think this thing is absolutely beautiful. Let me know down in the comments, were you guys lucky enough to pick one of these up? These things went quick. They got lots of detail. These things look awesome. You can even see there the uh, transmission pan is even painted orange. You got the exhaust on the bottom. This thing looks rad. Appears that it's got the same wheel as the Camaro. Let's take a closer look. Maybe just slightly different. They are maybe just slightly different, or maybe it's just because the Camaro has a staggered setup. Um, these look just a little bit darker, um, but they might be the exact same wheel. Uh, looks like, uh, like I said, this has a staggered setup, so it's got some larger wheels in the rear. But this thing is beautiful. Let me know down in the comments, were you guys lucky enough to pick up one of these GMC Typhoons? These uh, Hot Wheel protectors that come on the RLC cars are a little bit um, thin, in my opinion. They're pretty flimsy, to be honest. I mean, they're probably more for shipping than anything. And they're really unclear. Like, look how much clearer our... Uh, our cases that we get here are i mean you can see right through this thing they're a little more firm thicker a little more sturdy um these cases are definitely a lot better um than the hot wheels ones but uh i like to keep the rlc's in the hot wheels because it's kind of got the hot wheels logo embossed there on the back but uh yeah guys so it was pretty cool we got our gmc typhoon and then we also were able to get a gmc cyclone mainline um i'd like to pick up another one of these and do some customs for sure so we'll be on the lookout for some more of those as well as the mainline 180. you guys know i'm a huge fast and furious fan as you can see we got lots of fast and furious hot wheels we got everything from jada from the first and the second movie as well as the third and you can see there i got the posters we have a huge fast and furious collection here as well as just all sorts of other things. We love the movies. And uh, we finally came across one of these. I've found it a few times and uh, passed on it. But uh, I do collect mostly from the first and the second film. I collect everything from Hot Wheels, Fast and Furious. But um, as far as Jada cars go, they're a little bit larger, a little more expensive. I pretty much try to stick to just the first and second film as they are the most iconic of the franchise. Uh, with an exception of the third film. You can see there we do have Han's rx7 and a couple other cars from tokyo drift as well and uh you can see here we do have a 95 nissan skyline gtr from tokyo drift there was a scene where they were drifting around this and it was a pretty iconic scene in the movie so we did pick this up in the 132 scale so we're going to definitely add this to our fast and furious jada collection we might have to find a new home for that maybe right there carmen and i also found our first matchbox red edition which is a target exclusive matchbox car that is pretty easy to spot in the wild because they are red and uh, you can see here we picked up this oh we picked up this 08 holden ve ute ssv this thing is beautiful super cool car couldn't leave this behind. It was our first Target Red Edition, so we are definitely going to be throwing this in the collection. Shout out to our buddy Alex. He gave us a heads up last weekend, and we rushed over to the store, and we were able to hit the second wave 
of the Vintage Racing Club. And you can see here, we got the entire set. Not sure if you guys saw my reel or not, but we got the 62 Corvette. We got the Toyota 2000 GT. We got my favorite, the 1969 Ford Mustang Boss 302 Fastback. And we got a custom Ford Maverick. And another one of my favorites, the custom Datsun 240Z. So we were lucky enough to get all five cars. Let us know down in the comments, were you guys lucky enough to pick up the Vintage Racing Club yet? Or are you guys going to leave that behind? I think this Mustang is absolutely awesome. When we went to find the shipper, um, this was the last Mustang there. Um, I do think that this is going to be a hot one. Um, from the set it, or maybe possibly um, there just isn't as many in the shippers um, but i'm sure based off the last vintage racing club you're gonna see a lot of these left behind for some time so yeah let me know down in the comments which one is your favorite i'm definitely gonna have to go with the mustang and my other two favorites would be the uh, toyota and the Datsun, of course anyways guys we really appreciate all you guys watching the channel subscribing commenting, liking, entering our giveaways. We super appreciate it. We're on the road to 10K, guys. We're gonna have a huge giveaway, so stay tuned. And don't forget, guys, we do have a giveaway um, in the last video that is live. So make sure to go on over to that video by clicking the video right there above and uh, go on that video, comment, enter to let us know that you wanna enter the giveaway. We're going back to monthly giveaways right now and uh, we will be going live sometime this month. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and draw three winners. We're gonna be giving away these awesome prizes here. You're gonna get yourself a Nitro Slap Sticker, a white Honda Civic Si. You're gonna get yourself the Purple Passion Treasure Hunt as well as this cool combi Barbie van from the Pop culture set signed by carmen herself guys you won't find these signed barbie cars anywhere else so make sure to click that video uh go watch it leave enter down in the comments let us know and we will be going live here sometime this month to draw three winners super appreciate you guys uh hanging with us rocking with us growing with us we're having a blast doing it so anyways like comment hit that subscribe button if you haven't and we'll see you on the next one Ooh, like LeBron, though, or like Bronzo Ooh, I'm a baller, yeah, shot caller, yeah They love me, you can't touch me, nah